This is the last FRQ review for your Unit 6 review packet. In the link to the video description, there should be a link to this packet if you're not in my class. And this is going to be from the Practice of Statistics Updated 6th Edition. If you're looking for hints and page references, chapters 8 and 9. Let's go. Free response question number 5. Here is the question. A recent report stated that less than 35% of the adult residents in a certain city will be able to pass a physical fitness test. Consequently, the city's recreation department is trying to convince the city council to fund more fitness programs. The council is facing budget constraints and is skeptical of the report. The council will fund more physical fitness programs only if the recreation department can provide convincing evidence that the report is true. The recreation department plans to collect data from a sample of 185 adult residents in the city. A test of significance will be conducted at a significance level of alpha at 0.05% or 0.05%. And here are your hypotheses. The true proportion is 35% for the null, or for the alternative, the true proportion is less than 35%, where P is the proportion of adult residents in the city who are able to pass a physical fitness test. All right. Letter A, describe what a type 2 error would be in the context of this study, and also describe a consequence of making this type of error. You can use this hint if you want to look in the textbook to see if you can come up with a hint and reword it, re reword it in the context of this problem. Pause the video and try working this problem on your own, and you can look on pause, and I'll go over the solution. Okay, in this study, uh, type two, well, any type two error is when you fail to reject the null when the null is actually false. So we fail to, fail to reject the null, but the null is actually false, meaning that in this study, we fail to reject that 35% of residents could pass the fitness test. When in reality, that's actually true. Less than 35% are able to pass the test. Now, the result on that is, uh, we could have less phys physical fitness programs as a consequence being funded by the city council, which could lead to lower physical fitness levels. So that's just one example, but that would be how we could describe a consequence in the, in the context of this problem. So there's your consequence. Here's the context for the problem. And this is just the general definition of what a type two error is, which you don't have to write as long as you describe it in the context of the problem, but it doesn't hurt to write that up. Read through letter B, please. The recreation department recruits 185 adult residents who volunteer to take the physical fitness test. The test is passed by 77 of the 185 volunteers, resulting in a p-value of 0 0.97 for the hypothesis stated above. If it was reasonable to conduct a test of significance for the hypothesis stated above using the data collected from the 185 volunteers, what would the p-value of 0 0.97 lead you to conclude? Pause the video and try that one on your own. You can unpause it and we'll go over the solution. Okay, in this problem here, 0 0.97 is our p-value. That's awfully high. So obviously in this problem here, we'd wanna fail to reject the null. It's way higher than our alpha level. So we just do not have convincing evidence that the proportion of residents who pass the fitness test is less than 35%. So the p-value was already provided to us. We weren't having to calculate that or run the test. We just wanna interpret what that means. So this would be on our problem, the like the conclude part of a state plan to conclude. All right, read through part C. Describe the primary flaw in the study described in part B and explain why it is a concern. And you can find a hint on page 600 to 601 if you need it from your textbook. Pause the video and try it on your own. In this problem, the primary flaw in the study is the lack of random sampling. If you look up here, it says adult residents who volunteer. Now, people who volunteer for something might be inclined to want to do that. So volunteers likely sign up, uh, might be more physically inclined from the onset. And therefore, it may be possible that the study overestimates the true proportion who would pass the test. So volunteers, you can't make an inference to a larger population. So this is the primary flaw in the study. Hopefully that was helpful. That was our uh, 
number five, FRQ. The next video will go over the multiple choice questions. Thanks for watching.